Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will create Docker image and Docker container. In the last video, we saw why Docker and we saw what kind of problem Docker solves. So now we will create Docker images and Docker container. So let's start. So for creating a Docker image or Docker container, we need to have installed a docker in our system also we need a virtual machine or a machine so now i have created a virtual machine that is on my google cloud platform you can use any virtual machine like uh, aws ec2 instance or on azure or even on your system you can install docker right the process will be the same irrelevant to what machine you use okay so let's start so for installing the docker you need to follow a tutorial i mean you can go on this website docs.docker.com so in virtual machine i am using centos operating system so i'm here i have used install on centos documents okay you can use any of these documents according to your operating system so i have actually write the commands which are useful for installing the docker you can use these commands like this first you have to remove the docker if it is already available on your system with this command and then you can install yumutils and then config manager uh, the what it will do what it will command do it will you know uh, our docker repo it will add and then you can install docker ce so what is docker ce so docker ce is an open source version right docker ee is also available but it is an enterprises version and it comes with a post so i will use docker ce which is open source and free so let's use all these commands and install docker first So uh, what it is saying to me, it is saying that uh, you have already installed EM utils. So nothing to do. Okay. And my another command. Okay. It is already repo saved. And my third command, which is to install Docker. okay so uh, you can see uh, docker is already installed in my virtual machine i can check it like this docker minus minus version it is saying that docker version is 20.10 i can see all the command of docker with this like docker run docker save docker stop docker top okay these all are the commands of docker okay let's these are all the commands of docker okay so now first come first thing first we will create a docker image okay so for creating an image we need to go to this website that is docker hub okay i will give all these links into my description so suppose you have to install uh, nginx server so you can search here and this is saying nginx that is the official image which is latest one you can click on this and then it is showing saying to me that you have to use this command docker pull nginx okay so for installing image we need to use docker pull nginx right now it will install it is saying image is up to date for nginx latest so we have already you know installed image we can check with this command docker images let's see what images we have okay so we have nginx already suppose i want to install uh, apache sttpd okay 
so let's search it here httpd and this is here okay docker pull httpd is the command paste it here and then okay now it is installing my http let's check it again all the images with the help of command docker images okay so what it is saying it is saying that i have already nginx and httpd these two images in my virtual machine okay now let's see how many container i have so for container there is a command docker ps minus a first let me clear this okay this is the command docker ps minus a so it is saying i don't have any container okay it is okay so let's create a container how i will create a container docker run there is a command docker run okay and nginx nginx is my image so i am creating docker of image nginx okay you can see it is stopped it is not creating a, any container why and it is taking very long time let's control c here okay so uh, i have to you know create container in daemon mode so for this token run minus t for daemon mode for you know background now it will create docker within a second okay now my docker uh, sorry it will create container within a second now my container is already created so let's again check container all container that i have okay so it is saying that i have two container right one is which uh, i created without background without using minus d okay so it is saying i have two container of image nginx nginx this is my container id this is my name this is you know uh, automatically generated names okay so these are i have two container okay let's if there is a command docker ps minus a q so it will give me all the container id which i have okay so this is a command so now i have created an image i have created a container now now test it but for testing it i need to give an port to this engine server okay so that and for giving the port there is a command do, docker run minus dit minus d is for daemon and minus p is for port i'm mapping this port 8080 and then nginx okay now it will create a container with the you know 80 is my virtual machine port and 80 is container port right so first 80 is virtual machine port okay so now my uh, engine server will you know uh, run on 80 port okay so let's again check how many container i have i have three container which i have already created and one is running on 80 tcp right okay now i have to check on my browser like if it is working or not let's let's uh, you know uh, there is a command inspect docker inspect of 9f okay 9f this this 9f so in what inspect will do inspect will give me the ip address of this uh, nginx container so okay so it is showing me that 172 17.03 is the ip address okay but this ip address is a private ip address of nginx container you cannot run it here on this like 172 it will not give you the nginx uh, you know server first page so what i will do okay now let's see some other command like docker stop is command it will stop the container if you write here this one 
it will stop this container okay I have uh, this container which is you know connected to 80 so I will run it okay now I have to you know uh, open port of 80 of my this virtual machine so I will do that let's do it two things I have to do I will create you know a firewall rules for a particular tag so let me give a tag to this virtual machine by editing it so let's give it docker tag okay okay so now this my virtual machine is you know saving this tag and let me go to uh, firewall rules firewalls rules is under bpc network so first i will go to bpc network and then firewall Okay, now I will create a firewall rule for Docker. You can give any name it like, but uh, my targets will be sorry. I specified target tag, so and this will be Docker, right? Here I have to give IPv4 range, so let's give it zero 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 slash zero and here i have to you know allow tcp port of 80 because my container is running on 80 okay i have already created this okay. so with the inspect command what we saw we saw an a, a private ip address right but now i i need to have a public ip address for executing it on into the browser right so for this we can use curl ifconfig ifconfig dot iu this is my public ip address right let's test it that if my nginx server is running or not okay so it is saying welcome to nginx so my nginx server is running so what we uh, learn in this video we learn to create an image and docker image and docker container right and we uh, created some firewall rules to you know work it on the browser okay so now we can see that nginx is working and uh, i have you know installed nginx with the help of docker now i can uh, you know in the last video what i learned that uh, docker is helpful in you know when you are you know transferring your code to another machine and running it and making sure that no error comes so docker is helpful in this way so now i have used nginx right so now this nginx this nginx server i can transfer to any machine and it will run perfectly okay so uh, for now it is i mean enough in the next video we will see something else we will see some uh, other commands of docker okay for till then thank you bye bye guys please subscribe to the channel thank you